Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. And as you can see, today I'm playing FIFA 21. This is my last video on the play trial of 10 hours, as this will, after I've done this episode, well, after I've done this video, it will be run out. But anyway, I did a live stream t the day I'm recording this where I destroyed Manchester City. We did the uh, transfer challenge where anybody who offers any fee for any player we have to sell. So our team is currently looking like this. As uh, any offer that was that was made on a player, we had to accept. So what I want to do now is we've got that much money. We've got loads of money left. So what I'm going to try and do for a video now is to try and fix them and just see where we come. So as you can see, looking by that, we need um, probably another striker, two centre mids, probably some defenders, and then we probably will be okay. So that's what we're going to do. We've got all this money to spend and we're going to see if we can manage to fix them after we broke them. So if we go to the transfer hub here, um, I'm, these are the players I'm thinking about signing. Um, I was going to try, try and sign. Um, obviously, I'm going to get Mbappe because I feel like we need a world-class signing now that... Uh, uh, Aguero's gone, um, but hopefully we have enough money to do it. So, yeah, let's get into it straight away. So we're going to offer 190. I obviously assume they're going to want more than that. No, they're fine with that. Okay, I'll accept that. I'm not going to complain for that for Mbappe at all. Definitely not. So, our first signing here is legit. Kylian Mbappe, which is exactly what we need. We'll offer him a five-year deal. He might want a bit less than that. And that's what he's looking for. Okay. I'll accept whatever he wants. That is no problem in the slightest. So our next signing is going to be Frankie de Jong. So I'm going to... I'm going to begin no, uh, negotiations just because I want to make sure that I can get everybody. I don't want to be in a situation where I can't afford anyone that I want to buy for this rebuild. Well, they want loads more. Remove sound clause. Well, not that it matters. I probably should have accepted that. What about that? Will you accept that? No, why? Let's do that. Come on. Mate, if you don't accept it, I'll just do the buy. If, literally, if they don't accept anything less, I'm just going to do the buyout clause. Because that's what... Okay, if they don't accept this, because what, what was his... Uh, did I actually say? 155. I tell you what, if they don't if they don't accept that, I'm just going to do his buyout clause because his buyout clause was less than what they wanted. So hopefully that does fall through because if it does fall through, we can get him cheaper. So anyway, let's keep going now. So we're going to make an offer for Trent, and I'm just going to do 120 straight off the bat. Yeah, they want loads more than I expected there. Uh, you can leave the. So we did 120. Let's try 144. I'll tell you what, edit selling clause. You can have 10% if you want. Because I have no intention of selling him. Because this is just a one season thing. Okay, let's try 164 then. And that. Alright, you have a deal. Okay. So the question is, are we going to have enough? Because this... All this money that we had is running out real quick, to be honest. And he wants a crucial contract, obviously. Uh, he wants a five-year deal. Again, that's fine. No release clause, so again, that's exactly what we want. And there's 130 plus some add-ons and all that jazz. That is fine. So we're still waiting for Frankie Dion. These, I'm going to assume, are quite cheaper. Um, but obviously the, they've got decent potential within the game and obviously like I was tempted to buy Kante but the only problem with Kante was he was older and 
you know I, I just thought indeed it might be a good buy being as rated 86 already so I'm just gonna go in and offer 90 if you're gonna want more I know that yo we might not even have enough if we don't get him cheaper now we might actually not have enough I need to be a bit more careful yeah, the, the, no one is willing to like give you a deal in this game. Come on. Okay, so we're still saving some money. I reckon we still have enough to get in DD and uh, delete though. So I'm going to assume that we are fine in that front. So let's offer the contracts for delete right now. So, a crucial squad role, offer you a five year deal, and um, no release clause. And to be fair, he's willing to take a pay cut, so that's alright for that. So, yo! Maybe it ain't gonna be any cheaper. Uh, I think we should have enough. How much we got left? Oh, it's gonna be tight. We need this to be quite a, quite cheap, but uh, 75, come on, it's a bit more than his wage, uh, than his value. Why three? I mean, we could still technically do it, but obviously I want to try and bring it down a bit. So we offered 80, uh, no we didn't, we offered that, we'll offer 85, and if you'll see if we'll accept that, we'll keep the, keep the sell on clause active. No, they're not budging at all. So we'll do, let's do 95. Come on, we set that. Okay, so this is our other signing that we have coming right now. So let's do crucial, obviously. See, it's, it's like um, normally I'd just put Freddie De Jong at centre defensive midfielder and it'll be fine. But obviously, because of the, you know, the new position thing in FIFA now, you have to make sure that you buy people in that position. Now I'm just gonna try and remove the. I tell you what, well, I don't want to pay out for that because. Um, Okay, well, that's it. Well, we'll just leave it then. I, I was trying to make it less just to make sure that I definitely have enough for De Jong, but... Um, okay, so let's uh, let's have a look. From, let's put all our new players into the team and have a look what we end up with. So, we have Mbappe as our main striker, with Ndidi as our centre defensive midfielder, with... A right back of Alexander Arnold and De Litt as our other centre back. So we're looking pretty decent. Now I just need to sort my bench out. So we've got a defender, two defenders. We ain't really got a striker. Have we got a, striker, a spare back? I suppose De Litt, he'd be alright if I like a striker. And then that'll have to be it, won't it? Um, yeah, so there we go. That's our team for now. Now I am going to have to sim a few days just to get um, him through. I'm saying we haven't even started the season yet. What was one of the goals within this? Um, make a profit, all right? Well, we ain't going to make a profit because I've just spent a fortune <laughs> on players. So anyway, let's. Uh, Hopefully we're here back from um, Barcelona regarding... I can never remember his name. I actually can't remember his name. My mind's gone blank. I can't believe it. Okay, so uh, we have a transfer budget increased. Ah, De Jong, there we go. They've accepted that. I'll just try and offer him a contract with that and just see what happens with that. Well, are we going to have enough in the budget to even sign him? Because we're cutting our finances dry here. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. A sore salary. So, two, uh, 260. Oh, well, oh, right. Okay. We have serious problems right now. Hmm. Okay. I know I've just had to do that, but what I'm going to do to make sure we get him is I'm going to sell a few players that I think that I can sell that will get us some money. We will get him before the end. Uh, let's have a look who we can sell that might give us some more money and free up some money. So, um, yeah, you can be added to the list. Um, Keep going. I'll tell you what, you can go as well. So we'll do put them two on the list. Hopefully we'll hear back from them, and then this time we'll offer for his. Uh, we'll just offer for his um, buyout clause, which was cheaper. So we should still be fine. So we should have enough. So we'll just. Uh, I was going to sim to the end of the season, but we'll just wait until we get our final player in. Hopefully it won't take too long because we've listed the players that we want to sell on the transfer market so hopefully we get an offer for them quick Ooh, quicker rather than later okay so we've got an offer for Garcia so I'm just gonna what was he offered uh, okay I ain't too bothered because I need to just make sure that it goes so we get the money in to bring in our next player so I'm just gonna accept that Okay, 3-1, we'll take that. Not that it matters, I guess, because it's a, uh, it's just the friendlies. But it just shows that we have, we are on the right track to repair Man City. So I'll accept that one as well. And then uh, we should be fine. If, the, if these accept, there's no reason why we can't just, I'm just going to do the buyout clause instead so that I'm not, going in and re-offering because that was cheaper than what they wanted. So there you can see Garcia's, uh, but Stefan doesn't want to go. Do I try now? How much we got now? 170. We'll try it, fuck it. Okay, we'll pay the release clause. If, if, it, if it declines it again, then we'll just have to keep going until a few more players are sold. And then we can do it. But I'm hoping we have enough now. Yeah, we should have enough. Surely with that. Five-year deal. Discard release clause. Wants that. Well, that's definitely terrible. Why won't it? Well, I didn't have any money last time, did I really? Okay, yeah. Sweet, so that is our final signing of the uh, of this challenge. It's not right. It's not really a challenge. I don't know what the hell I'm calling it because I've not done this before. But uh, Foden is going to come off. He can be a good uh, sub though, can't he? So if we switch them around, uh, eyes on the bench and. So I'll just pick high rating to be honest. So we'll do Herrera. Whoever you are, we'll put you there. Then we just need to change you for you. And now, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, at the beginning of the season, we were strikerless. We only had De Bruyne, who was decent in the midfield. We was missing a centre-back and a right-back. Well, there you have it now. I've managed, I'm going to pre-assume that after destroying them by in the uh, accepting every transfer offer challenge, we have now used all that money and I think we've rebuilt them enough to win the league. What do you reckon? Got to have. Uh, I'm sure we have. If we haven't, I'm going to be fuming. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, pause the recording. 
I am going to literally sim it on the calendar all the way to the end of the season, at which point we will find, well, we'll figure out what, what where we are, where we finish, and we'll just see. Back in a minute. Okay, so we are back. Right. So what we did there was we simmed until the end of the season. So let's see where we finished. So we're on a manager rating of 72, so that's always a good thing. And there isn't anything here apart from a departure from someone must have, that must have been on a pre-contract agreement. So let's have a little look at the team. So the team is looking still the same. Um, it's looking like Bernardo Silva has progressed a few levels. Same with Delit. Oh, and so we're looking quite decent now. Unfortunately, though, we didn't win the Premier League. Um, we finished second, uh, only so quite close. That's better than eighth, I believe. We finished, so that's a W, I guess. Um, we're just gonna check about all the other competitions just to see, you know, where we finished in what. Uh, da, da, da. Let's keep looking. In. You not do the where do you do the uh, oh competition? It was there, wasn't it? Was it? I don't know. I check. Okay, actually, I don't know. How, uh, here, isn't it? Must be on standings, right? It must be on here. I went on the wrong thing. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So, we finished second there. To, what about the the uh, FA Cup? Man City beat us, unfortunately, so we didn't do anything with that. We didn't make it into the uh, Carabao Cup, but what about the Champions League? So, we win the Champions League, and we finished second. So, in my opinion, that is Manchester. That is legit. Manchester City fixed and I'll take that so I'm going to take this moment to thank anybody for watching I really appreciate it I hope you enjoyed this kind of video because it is a bit different because normally I just do the uh, transfer challenge and then I don't normally fix them I just normally move on but anyway um, if you could please leave a like rating, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'm currently on 10,670 subscribers as of right now. I'm on the road to 11,000, so if anyone could subscribe, I would really, really appreciate it. But anyway, I wanna, I'm going to be going now, so I'll see you in another video or another live stream. Goodbye.